Hello and welcome to another Monster Hunter World Iceborne video. So the Develop Diary 6 has been introduced and if you want to know about all the exciting news, free title updates, goodies coming up this month and next month, I'll go through with you right now and stick till the end of the video. So guys, the Iceborne's fourth free title update is nearly around the corner on July the 9th and we have two new monsters to talk about. The first one is Glutrin, the blazing black dragon, the monster we have been waiting for a long time. This monster first appeared in Monster Hunter 3 as the final boss. Glutrin can switch its element anytime, it could attack using fire ice, thunder or dragon element anytime. With each of these element, the attack appearance and the weak point changes accordingly. While fighting this monster, the player will need to be aware of one thing. A powerful shockwave emits when the monster is changing its element. With that, you will have to think of different strategies to defeat the beast. Not very easy to overcome the shockwave as this will drain your health really really fast. The only way to really can, you can overcome of this damage is to hit Alatrian with elemental damage and continue to do elemental damage. So get those high elemental builds going on guys. We have a new monster naturally will have some new armors and weapons with it too. Great looking armors and weapons with deadly glow to it. But this time around I'm more excited about the set bonus skills which is the Alatrian Divinity. With these skills the more elemental resistance you have on your armor you'll gain more elemental attack on your weapons too. Moving on to our second monster that has been introduced was Frostfang Barrier. Looks like we will be fighting him on August 7 to August 19. It's just a different variant of the regular Barrier. You will find this monster to appear in the event quest and will be a tempered monster. It has more frozen and rugged look to it. The original Barrier has tusks with an orange hue of them where the Frostfang barrier has some chilling appearance. This monster have the ability to make the ground frozen, very hard to move around if you are affected by the frostbite status. Of course we have some new armors as well. There are more sort of regular armor but more heavier feel to it. Mainly the helmet part has a white tiger sort of look. It has one piece set bonus, which is punishing draw that gives draw attack a stun effect. Also for three piece set bonus, you'll be able to have slug a secret set bonus. With this effect, it will be able to stun almost any monster even you couldn't stun before. Looks like there are some great skills to work for. Moving on to some system updates. So now we will be able to craft spatial tracks at Elder Melder. So when we are in Guiding Land, we can call any specific monsters. And to be able to do that, player must encounter that specific monster before and have the required material. There will be some new design for the squad cards and guild cards available as shown in the picture. Moving on to some new upcoming downloadable add-on contents. Some new butterflies and fog of bugs pendants. Looks great. Then there will be some great room decals including a grilled Beodorus and a lot of other home decals inspired from the feline hideout. New monster figures and some new music has been added in as well.
and last of all we'll see some seasoning spice fest seasonal event which will be introduced in July the 22nd all the way to the 6th of August the whole gathering hub is getting summer looking makeover along with the new handler outfit all the outfit and places have festival carnival type thing going on you'll see different type of food in Kentin which, which are mainly the meat based food new samba kind of outfit for handler and a palico even Poogie have a new outfit there will be some new event quests available upon completion then you'll be able to crop some funky looking Kelby and Atenok outfits at last there will be some muck shaped door blades similar to the fish door blades that we have and default clothing the one you gain at the beginning of the game so it looks like you are not wearing any armors at this time around finally in the summer we'll be having fifth major title update where some returning monsters will be back Asturia and Celiana Fest and Master and Glade armor will be available to all the players that's it for the video today guys um, I hope to see you all soon Thank you so much for watching my video.